Hey buddies, welcome to RC Drone Club. So I am here with the my third video on range test series. As you saw my last two videos on the range test of H501S with the different firmware and the antennas. Today I am out here, wonderful weather, mild winds and around 10 degrees C temperature. Uh, to be more precise, uh, winds are uh, around 12 to 14 kilometer per hour. So guys, let's see. Uh, as you can see, I have changed the antenna, that 2.4 gigahertz antenna. I have done the proper mod. I I, I didn't done the proper mod as uh, you see. I have just attached the antenna with the tape. It's just temporary. It's it's just for testing purposes. If it worked better than the stock antenna, I will do a proper mod. But as I believe, the stock are the best. So, till now I have achieved 920 meters on the stock antennas. You believe that? So, if you haven't watched the video, you can see the link in the description. Go watch th those videos. Uh, I have did the range test with the stock antennas. So, till now my record is 920 meters on the stock antennas. And today I am here to break my record. Uh, I'm hoping that I will break my record with this uh, antenna. So the conditions here are the firmware is version 1.1.22 on the X4 and 429 on the transmitter. So super flyer on super flyer firmware with the antenna mod. So the conditions are here super flyer with the antenna mod. This antenna is big. It's 5 dBi, 2.4 gigahertz, not that 3 dBi which most of guys use. So I believe it will behave better. So let's see how good it is. Let me set up the camera first. Do the pre-flight checks with this uh, H501S and we'll be back in a second. So let's see guys. So guys, I'm here now starting off. Let me arm the motors. Yes. So motors are now armed and let me take it up yes now it's going up yeah mm. you can see the battery is showing 7.4 volts that's the false warning that 10 C battery gives let me check yes now it's okay so let's go so guys, as uh, you know that this is the uh, super flyer with the um, upgraded antenna. Let's see how much this combination gives me. So now it's 72 meters, 46 meter altitude. Uh, I will see, yes, let me go. Yes, 100, 108 and uh, 143 and now 59 meters of altitude going forward yes 180 188 it's going I guess something is wrong here yeah going going so 200 guys 216 to 20 yes it's going altitude is 62 and the distance is 250 yes 265 265 yes so it's not taking my orders anymore what's this let me yeah yeah Come on baby, you can do it. I have to break my record. 268, go, go, go. Yes, now it's going to 92. And I guess 300. Yes, 300. 340. 350, yes, now it's going, going, going. Good baby, you can do it. You need to break my old record, which is 900. 
with the stock antennas 366 and again it's it's it's, it's not obeying the orders I just put the forward stick and it's not going anymore you can see it does not go what's happening here 417 oh my god 436 436 meters maximum 436 I think I just lost the control here it's coming back I think I just lost the control I didn't put the RTH but I think I lost the signal and it's automatically coming back yeah now regained the control I think this 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 is the so I have to put the RTH yes yes I think this is this is going to be this is not performing well there it was not obeying the order it lost the signal I guess at 388 meters so yes 388 meters and I did the RTH 388 meter was the final yes 388 meters and I did the RTH now it's all coming back yes now it's all coming back return to home yes now it's all coming back I was afraid that it, it uh, I lost the signal at that point the FPV was clear but lost the signal at 388 and uh, it was coming all back and I was afraid to take it furthermore so I believe and I guess this is the final 388 is the final range because it was not obeying my orders the stick was not working and uh, it lost the signal at 388 and uh, it triggered RTH by, by its own that means the signal was lost at that point and the quad was coming back and I was afraid to take it further so I did the RTH at that point so now it's all coming back so let's see what happens and uh, this was the third video on the range test series as you know guys and i got 388 meters with the upgraded antenna and the super flyer firmware so i believe and to the best of my knowledge the stock antennas are best they are good and uh, uh, they are more good I, I i believe that and now it's i guess it's proven the upgraded antenna that 5 dbi 2.4 gigahertz was giving me 388 meters of max so and my last video if you haven't saw my video just go and watch that with the stock antenna and with that super fly super flyer from where i got 911 meters that was superb with the stock antennas and the super flyer 900 meters and the super flyer with this upgraded antenna 300 388 I, I just say 400 meters I just say 400 meters so the uh, upgraded antenna 400 meters same firmware and the stock antenna is 900 meters so that's the dif difference and, and and I believe that super uh, super flyer firmware uh, behaves best with the stock FPV the stock FPV is awesome uh, I just believe that that 14 dbi that panel antenna I, I, I that's they are really cheap and I don't think that they will work great so um, that stock antennas are the stock FPV and the stock 2.4 gigahertz that they both are best and as you saw the stock antennas and with the super flyer firmware I got 900 meters and with the upgraded antenna that is 5 dbi not that 3 dbi this is the big antenna I have bought this to, to check the range so it didn't work at just 400 meters 400 meters only so that was my test th third video on this test series guys so I will be back with the more videos on the test series and I will be doing more experiments and I will be doing more different experiments on that that what combination or I will be uh, attaching the boosters and will be doing different stuffs so to find the 
uh, the perfect combination on which I can get the maximum range. So, I will be modifying more, I will not be uh, modifying or I will not be messing with the firmwares anymore that super flyer is the best double one two two and four two nine on the transmitter this is the best combination this is the best firmware for the cord and i will be messing with the antennas and with the boosters and with the different more things so uh, till now my experience with h501s best firmware is superflyer double one double two and secondly the stock antennas are the best because with the superflyer stock antennas 900 meters this is what I got so this was my third uh, video series I will be doing some more exciting stuff in the future so uh, stay tuned guys stay subscribe uh, and subscribe if you haven't and there there is much more coming guys so thanks a lot for watching thank you guys